today we're going to partition a number and we're going to use it to help us with a subtraction. So I'm going to start by drawing our partitioning grid, just like we've been practicing. And I'm going to use it to solve this subtraction. So we start with our biggest number. Our largest number in this subtraction is 13. And just like yesterday, we put the largest number, the number that we're thinking about sharing, into the top circle. The only other number I know is 8. So 8 has to be in one of the bottom circles. There's another small number, smaller than a 13, that needs to go in this circle. We can count on from 8 to find the answer. So from 8 in our heads, we've got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So our answer is 5. Some of you might have heard Rufus the cat joining in with our partitioning. There he is. Let's do another one. So this time, my subtraction is going to be 28. And we're going to take away... 20. Start by drawing your partitioning grid. Our largest number in the subtraction is 28 and that must go in the top. The next number that we know is 20 but we don't know this missing number here. Actually if we count on in our heads all the way from 20 up to 28, put 20 in your head, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, we know the answer must be 8. We can go backwards by saying 20 add 8 is 28. 28 take away 20 is 8. We also know that 28 take away 8 is 20. Let's try one more time. So, my number for the subtraction, I've got 14, take away 9. Start with your partitioning grid. I'm going to do it nice and big this time. So you can see we've got 14 in the top circle. It's our largest number that we know so far. We've got 9 in one of the circles. And the missing number is the difference between 9 and 14. Some of you can see it already and some of you might need to do some dots or some drawings to help you. The answer here is 5. 14 take away 9 is 5. 14 take away 5 is 9. And when we're sharing 9 and 5 and we're putting them together again, it's back to 14. So we can see now how this model helps us to think about numbers in different ways and how we can switch around addition and subtraction. Today we are just going to do subtractions. So you'll have the top number, one of the smallest numbers, and you will need to find the missing small number.